In this case, I'm just gonna let u be the square root of y. You could include the negative, but I think it's just nicer if we don't, okay? Now, I need to figure out du in terms of, that's right, y and dy, but don't differentiate just yet, because, I mean, taking the derivative of a square root's a little messy. If I square both sides, then I have u squared equals y, and then now let's differentiate. So left-hand side's gonna be two u du, and then on the right-hand side, we have one dy. See how painless that was? Okay, so look what's going on. I'm gonna have e to the negative u. That's gonna become u. Then dy is all of this, two u du. So after I make the u sub, I can already tell I'm gonna need to do by parts, okay? But at least we're getting the ball rolling. We're heading in the right direction. The last thing is don't forget we need to change the limits of integration. So these limits, zero and t, belong to the variable of the integral, which is y. So I need to plug them in for y and figure out the new limits in terms of u. So u of zero is gonna be square root of zero, that's zero. And then u of t will be square root of t. That's my new upper limit, you leave it like that. You can't just dump them, this is, an improper integral with limits of integration, you can't start suddenly abandoning the limits mid-problem. No, no. So this is limit, t goes to infinity, we're going zero to rad t. Now I have e to the negative u, and then instead of dy, two u du. How are we doing? Are we okay? All right, good. Now, let's 